In the third century AD, Tertullian talked about disease, war, famine, and other disasters as being a blessing. Why? Well, we'd better get over thinking that that's a terrible thing to say. What he was saying, uh, just to make it more technical, he was saying that the population of a region is determined by the carrying capacity. And that, of course, is affected by the scale of living, the standard of living you want to endure. The increase in population comes about through the very natural process of reproduction. And left to themselves, people will have too many children. They'll have too many, and pretty soon you're exceeding uh, the uh, um, proper scale of living, and uh, rather exceeding the proper no the number for the proper scale of living, and then you're in real trouble. And Tertullian said, "Look, we have things to keep the, this evil from happening, and these things are war, uh, the, and pestilence, and civil disorder, and." Uh, we try to get rid of war, nobody wants that, really. And civil disorder, nobody wants that. And nobody wants pestilence. And in fact, in our own time, that is in the last 200 years, we have practically gotten rid of disease as a controller. Now, since we've gotten rid of the disease as a controller of population, what do we want to have? What blessing do we want to have instead of the blessing of disease? Would you rather have war? Would you rather have civil disorder? You have to have something. And there, of course, there's a remote possibility we might think of some other way to work on the other end and reduce the birth rate so that we don't have to increase the death rate. Why is there such a resistance to reducing the birth rate? Because of our treasuring individual freedom so much. I mean, that's one way to put it. And uh, I'm this is the way most of our idealists would say it's a terrible thing. A person has to be, a couple has to be able to free to have as many children as they want to. That's their right. We have even many documents in the United Nations and others that say that this is a right. Well, if you give that as a right that cannot be controlled and you control disease, then you're headed for trouble. And we are unwilling to recognize the fact that once you remove disease as a controller, you are up against a serious problem. Controlling through social mechanisms seems to be a very negative approach that people don't like. That's true. Can you think of a positive one? That's the question. Disease is a positive one. Okay. But I, there, there has to be a control for the reproduction, which is essentially, and that has to be, uh, basically uncontrollable, has left free to do its own thing. Every species of animal produces the maximum number of organisms that are capable. And uh, so every species of animal has to have control. I mean, look at uh, things like oysters. An oyster, 